Well, I'm out in Karameas again at my secret spot. You can have a look at that video. I did a video of it last year when I first got here last night. I heard the wild horses across the river. I didn't see them, but I uh, saw them this morning, but they were kind of through the trees over there and I couldn't get a good video of them because they it was too small. Anyways, I'm just in the back of my van, reading, doing a few things before I head out to the Ashnola. So, looking forward to a few days up there. I love this place. I love being here. This is on, I think this is called the Smilkameen River. It's beautiful. I spent a lot of time here last year when I was actually living in my van. And now that I'm just going out for camping trips, um, this is one of the first places I headed to. I've been out at Cook Creek once, and I um, am here for one night, and then I'm heading up the Ashnola River with some friends, and we're gonna stay up there for a few nights. So I'm just, I, I've missed being in my van. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just really happy to be back out here and it's so great to be alone and just listen there's crickets birds it's amazing and it's another day in paradise <laughs> anyways is this not great or what great to come out of my van and also, if you can see that, hold on, I gotta unplug this. My silver panels. I hope the sound is okay on this because that river is very loud. It's called the Ashnola River. Anyways, I guess it's time I updated you on my solar panels. Last time I talked about it, I was in Arizona back in February or March and my solar panel wasn't working so I have since I was gonna put solar panels on the roof and I've since decided that I just like the mobility of these Jackery ones that fold up um, and fit really nicely in the back of my van where I can get easy access to them they don't take up any space and uh, I decided to buy two plus I also bought sorry, another Jackery. So I have one back there and one up here. So that I have two because one wasn't enough to run my fridge and then to charge my computer and my phones. And, um, and especially I use a heating pad at night. Even when it's warm out, I use a heating pad at night. And so just those few things, I need two batteries. And that way, when I've got two solar panels, I can all day long when it's nice, um, charge both of them. The idea was to alternate, have one solar panel and alternate off of the fridge, one Jackery and charge one completely every day, but they never charge completely during the day. So I think if I've got two solar panels, working on both batteries. I can keep them as charged up as I can. And we'll see how that goes. And then if it's cloudy, I'm just gonna have to go for a drive or run my van and have them plugged into my van. So that's where I'm at with that. And right now I'm out at Ashnola, um, the Red Bridge Campground. It's a rec site and ooh, butterfly just went by. Um, I have some friends out here with me, but they're in another site. Uh, so I take my mornings on my own, and then I get together with them, and we, we play board games or whatever. So anyways, that's just an update. I will get back to you again, maybe when my friends come over to play board games. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. I'll take that. Two twelve. so. <laughs> Oh boy. That's nine. Two nine. Good morning, 
everybody. It's day two of my camping at the Ashnola River. I'm enjoying it. I love waking up in the morning and just opening up my back gate on my van and this being my view. And I wanted to give another update on my on my solar panels. I'm finding that um, it's whoops that it's really smart for me to just have them outside my van, outside the back gate. Um, I need to remember when I'm camping to try to camp with either uh, my van either facing east or south from the back or from this side door here because those are the only two doors that I can, whoopsie, <laughs> the only doors that I can access um, from inside so that in the morning I can always just set, like I never was setting up my solar panels in the morning because I don't get out of my van until about 11 or 12. I'm always doing um, things until then. So uh, this is easy. I wake up in the morning, I open the back gate and run the cables into the two batteries, Jackery batteries, and start charging them. And it's actually working really well because I'm able to keep my fridge on all day now and I'm able to do everything else that I want to do with my batteries as well. Um, I have, like I mentioned, I think in the previous clip, I have two Jackery batteries and two solar panels. And so I'm just trying to keep them topped up. They're never topped up, but like once I've started using them. Um, but just trying to keep them so that I have enough to run everything that I need to run. So when it's sunny, that works great. We'll see what happens if I'm camping and it's raining. Um, yeah, that's uh, so far what's going on this morning. I have a steak to dinner for, for dinner tonight. Hope it's good. It's a mystery. I'll tell you what it is in a while, but it's something product that I'm testing that I actually don't think is working. You might be able to guess what it is, but I will explain after I've let it run for a while and see if it's working. All right, that's the mosquito lamp. That's what I was showing you last night with the blue lights on it. The blue lights are in here. I'm assuming the blue lights are supposed to attract the mosquitoes and then they wind up in this little tray, the part with all the screens on it, vents on it, is where the dead mosquitoes drop down into, but here we go, let's have a look. This is the inside of it. No dead mosquitoes. There was quite a few mosquitoes last night and of course they got in the van. Um, so this really doesn't work. It's USB charged, which is what I liked about it. But it's actually not charged. It's, um, you have to have it plugged in for it to work. So that's another negative to it as well. So I don't know, not really sold on that piece of equipment. If you're looking for a way to get the bugs out of your van after you close it up, that's not the way. By the way, it's also possible that I'm using it wrong. So if somebody has any information on that, um, I don't recall that it came with instructions. Um, if it did, they accidentally got thrown away. So I don't really know. All I thought, you plug it in, it, the van is completely closed up. I even turned off all the lights at one point so that the only lights attracting it was that because I was reading on my phone and they were all coming to my phone. So I turned my phone off, turned off all the other lights, waited for, I don't know, five minutes, nothing. So I don't know, I'm confused and not promoting that product. <laughs> also another update on my solar panels that I'm just setting outside my back tailgate there every morning. I get up and I open up the van 
plugged those in because they're already sitting there ready for me to take care of. And uh, I started camping on Wednesday and it's Sunday now and I have not run out of power for my fridge which is the first time ever that I've been camping where I haven't lost food because I couldn't keep my fridge powered up. So uh, that's a real that's a real positive for me too. Really happy about that. Also just enjoying another day in paradise. I know the sound on all these videos have been really probably poor. I haven't actually checked it yet, but uh, it's because of the river. The river is so loud. Although if you'll remember from my video from last year, when I was here, the river was way higher. That, uh, that rock rate, that rock rate there was almost completely underwater when I was here last year. So it was a lot higher a lot warmer and so therefore a lot more pleasant except that there's a lot of flies and a lot of mosquitoes at night but the mosquitoes are actually only around for maybe an hour and then they seem to go away and so it's not too bad um, the other thing that's here I should say where I am I don't think I've said that I'm on the Ashnola River I believe I've mentioned that but I'm at a little recreation site. BC has all these um, forestry recreation sites. Uh, it's called the Red Bridge, and it's the first recreation site up the uh, Ashnola River Road or whatever. I don't know what that road is called, but it follows the Ashnola River. And uh, the other thing that they have at this campsite, um, when we first got here, there were some people from California parked in the site next to me, and they had, had a snake in their site a uh, rattlesnake and then this morning when my friends came over to say goodbye over here uh, they also had a snake not them but um, the people next to them had a snake that was just kind of hanging out in the grass next to their site so they had to be really careful with their dogs because the dogs had previously been running around all in that grass so I'm hoping I don't see any I don't really want to and the other thing I want to say is something that I have not used since I first got my van, so two years ago would have been my first camping in the van, um, is the, what are they called, the guards for your, gutter guards for your house that I put in the windows. I haven't really used those much because they're a little bit hard, I need some help to get them in. Anyways, I put that in last night and I had some fresh air coming into my van. I don't know if you can see that. It's the white part in the window of the sliding door. what those gutter guards look like from the inside. I feel like I've solved another problem now. That rug down there keeps the dirt from getting dug up. This is sort of my kitchen area keeps the dirt from getting dug up so that I eventually after a while it gets so soft that it's really hard to move in especially when I have to turn towards the van and turn towards the cook stove and back to the van for stuff um, this rug is making a huge difference and making it a lot easier if they weren't so big and hefty to lug around and get put away at the end I'd, I'd put more of them I put one on the other side of where I put my wheelchair in too but for now this is working great. This is the little table that I was gonna get rid of a while back, but what I do now is, so that I have everything I need outside during the day, usually that stuff is all on top of the shelves inside my van. But before I get out in the morning, I set the table's already sitting there. I just set those things on it. And that way I have access to anything that I need during the day and I don't have to climb back into the van. So it's pretty perfect. And I've folded up my solar panels for the night. They did a good job charging. Both of them are only at just around 60 or 70% the batteries, but uh, I've been running the fridge all day, so that's pretty good.
it's my last night here at Ashnola. I'm spending some time just enjoying it. I've been reading a book and also working on some stuff on my computer for future episodes of my channel. And I'm sitting right beside the river as usual, just really enjoying it. It's nearly 6 p.m. on my last evening at Ashnola River campground campground here and the mosquitoes are starting to come out they were really bad last night and I went to bed with so many bug bites so tonight well actually when I was in California uh, my friend Brian gave me some samples of a bunch of different things that he thought might be helpful for me this was one of them and I haven't had the opportunity to try it until now so I'm gonna try it tonight and I will let you know how it works he says he bought this on Amazon Okay, that's just an example of how hard it is to wheel around once I've loosened up the gravel in my campsite. Um, see, I'm already scratching because the bugs have already got me. Okay, here we go. It's a nice big cloth. hands were getting it the worst last night. This isn't going to help through my shirt. I don't think I was getting bit even through the cloth of my t-shirt. Alright, see if I get bothered as much. I also wanted to mention that this is a plant-based bug repellent wipe. Active, excuse me, the active ingredients are citronella oil and peppermint oil. And it smells really good too. Anyways, I will let you know how it works. Well, it's about five minutes later and I'm going to be ordering some of that stuff. I had one mosquito kind of fly around me, but it wouldn't lie, land. And since then, I haven't had any come near me. So, uh, hopefully I'm not judging too quickly. I'll update you later if something changes. But otherwise, I'm going to order a bunch of those bug wipes right away. As soon as I get back into cell service. I didn't throw this package away. I put the little rag back in there and I'm setting it just up on my little shelf here. Now, oops. Now that I'm back in the van to see if that repels the bugs from, the smell of it maybe repels the bugs from coming inside. So far I don't have any coming in here. It's really great. I really like that stuff. Either that or the bugs just aren't as bad tonight as they were last night, but uh, I'm still going to order some. Well, I just had a really nice little pleasant surprise. Um, I've been waiting for the campground host to come around so I could pay for my site for tonight. And uh, he finally came around just now and he said uh wanted to know how long i was staying for and i said oh, just one more night and then i'm done i gotta go home tomorrow and and he's like well i'm gonna cover your campground for tonight and i'm like no you don't need to do that i always get my back up when people do things like that because i think they're just doing it because i'm in a wheelchair and they feel sorry for me and i don't want them to do that but this guy was a really nice guy and we got talking and i just decided that you know what, if people want to do that and it makes them feel good to do, it makes me feel good that people want to do it for me, I have to change my, the way I look at things. It's not 
um, that they're having this whole pity party on me or I don't know, maybe it is, but I guess what I'm saying is I think that God wants me to just allow people to do that sort of thing because they want to feel good too or whatever. I'm not sure what, but anyways, it was just really nice. I don't have to pay for tonight. I don't have really good finances this year. Um, buying that house <laughs> pretty much took everything I had. So, uh, well, not quite, but anyways, I'm just saying it's a nice thing that I didn't have to pay for my campground tonight. And that was kind of exciting.